Former President Donald Trump called the Republican presidential candidates debating on November 8 unwatchable. During a rally in Hialeah, Florida, Trump urged the Republican establishment to stop wasting time and resources on candidates he deemed weak and ineffective. Trump skipped the Miami debate between South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy and former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, in favor of a rally 12 miles away, the debate is the third Trump has skipped a gambit that has yet to cost him support in opinion polls that show him the overwhelming Republican frontrunner to challenge Democratic President Joe Biden. I will never run against him. He is a great president. I will never ever run against him, said Bird Brain. I will not run against him. He was one of the greatest presidents in the history of our country. And then about three months later, she goes, I've decided to run. This, this is the craziest business politic. And it's time for the Republican establishment to stop wasting time and resources trying to push weak and ineffective rhinos and never Trumpers that nobody wants and nobody's going to vote for. I watch these guys coming in. I had this thing and I was watching these guys. They're not watchable. You know, the last debate was the lowest rated debate in the history of politics. So. So therefore, do you think we did the right thing by not participating? Somebody said, oh, some one of the dumber ones. He doesn't have the courage to stand up. Well, listen, I'm standing in front of tens of thousands of people right now, and it's on television. That's a hell of a lot harder to do than a debate. If we had one of these candidates, pick the best one, whoever that is. I don't think you have a best one. Well, one of them said last week that on the stage that President Trump is the greatest president in many generations. I sort of like him. You know who that is? I, sort of, I mean, how can I dislike him? He's so nice. A lot of people say that, why are you running? Well, he said, I'm a younger version. And that's okay to say. But we want the older version, right? But that's okay to say. And you know, you gotta remember, Biden's not too old. That's not his problem. He's too incompetent. He's not old. Our country has never seen the likes of what you witnessed in America last weekend with the menacing mobs of Hamas supporters chanting their jihad slogans in the streets of our cities. In Washington, D.C., pro-jihadist demonstrators climbed up the fence in front of the White House. Excuse me, that I built. I built it. You know, the fence wasn't too good. The one that they had up there was falling apart. And we built it. Titanium, it's the strongest stuff. And they damaged the fence and they damaged police vehicles. They desecrated statues of Ben Franklin and other great heroes of our country. And they shattered. Allah Akbar, while calling the barbaric Hamas terrorists martyrs, they were saying martyrs. In times like these, you can't afford to have a president who wants to be politically correct. We have to do things properly. We cannot have an administration that takes foreign policy advice from Ilhan Omar or Rashida Tlaib. Can't do that. Can't do that. If you hate America, if you want to abolish Israel, if you sympathize with jihadists, then we don't want you in our country, and we are not going to let you come into our country. To all the resident aliens who joined in the pro-jihadist protests and became very violent and started destroying our capital and many other places, we put you on notice, come 2025, we will find you and we will deport you. Every time the radical left Democrats, Marxists, communists, and fascists indict me, they indicted me. Can you believe my father and mother are looking down, son? How did that happen? We're so proud of you, son. How did that happen? That wasn't a word that was in, but this is a political indictment. This is a Biden indictment. Even that stupid trial going on in New York, which has been totally discredited. Everybody's been discredited. That's all comes out of the White House. That's to discourage people from voting.
That's to hurt us. The only difference is we have a big voice. We're a very big voice. This is the greatest movement in the history of politics. And we have a great voice, and we're not going to let them get away with it.